On the TV, Listen, bro. On the TV. No, no way, bro. That's definitely yeah, we'll 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 Shush. Sorry about that, Mr. Commissioner. Had the mods hack the stream, turning this into the FaZe draft. And with the first pick of the draft, FaZe Clan selects Kyla Murray, baby. Let's go! <laughs> okay, okay. We're real excited right, right now. We are now joined by two of the men that you just saw in that video. One, a former NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year and one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in... Forget quarterbacks. One of the most dynamic huh? players in the NFL. The other... Oh, he's a top-ranked Fortnite player and a content creator for the world's most Oof. prominent and influential gaming organization, FaZe Clan. Please welcome to the show, Kyle Murray and Nate Hill! What's up, y'all? That was a great intro. That was a great wow. intro. A very good intro. Of course. <laughs> Of course, I have to show you guys some love. Now, Nate, we'll start with you. We'll get to Kyle in a second. Um, listen, yeah. <laughs> it, Kyle's video game skills were on full display at the 2021 Virtual Pro Bowl, where he was named the MVP for leading the NFC over victory, um, in, to victory in the Madden. Now, how much was that performance that he showed you guys a factor into you guys bringing him in as the newest member of the FaZe Clan? And, and why was he such a no-brainer to add to the squad? First off, great name, by the way. Nate, love that. Um, second off, so yeah, obviously Kyler is one of the best football players in the league, right? He single-handedly won my fantasy league pretty much. So naturally we're going to be attracted <laughs> to that. But as you said, he popped off in the Madden thing. He's a great Fortnite player. He's probably bangs in Call of Duty too. So it's, it's like FaZe's job to find people that are both super talented and also connect to the brand. So if he wasn't a gamer or a lifestyle guy... It wouldn't really make too much sense, but since he checks all those boxes, it was a no-brainer. I love it. Kyler, you're a busy guy. You're good at a lot of yeah. different things, baseball, football. You have to run a team in the NFC West gauntlet. I just said, like, a couple of minutes ago on live television that you're going to have an MVP season this year. You're going to win it. Uh, what made you, with so much on your plate, want to be part of FaZe Clan? And when are we going to see you in some competition soon? Oh, uh, I, I think like Nate said, man, it was just an organic deal, a natural deal. Um, I've been playing video games my whole life, so uh, for Faze to be, you know, interested in me and love be mutual, and it was uh, it was a no-brainer. It was easy. Um, I might as well, you know, join the best of the best. Uh, I tell people all the time, Faze is like Nike, you know. Um, so it, it was it was a no-brainer for me. And it was easy. Well, let's get to the roots of this, the origin story. The four of us here on the table, we're all classically trained in video games growing up. Nate, I'm going to throw it to you first and then let Kyler answer. What was the game that first sparked your love of video okay. games growing up? What was the one that got you? Okay. That's a tough question because, like, ever uh, since I've played my first game, I never put them down. I've been obsessed ever since. So the first game I played was Road Rash, I guess, but... The nice. one that really, Road Rash, motorcycles. Hell yeah. Too. You remember that one? See, okay, now I'm talking to people. Yeah, okay. Sega Most people have no yeah. clue what I'm talking about. But that sure. one, and then uh, Dota 2, or Dota pretty much showed that there was a potential competitive career in it for me. So that one kind of sparked mm. it a bit, mm. I guess. Kyler? Uh, I'll probably have to go with, like, probably like a Mario Kart, Madden, one of those. Yeah, games. oh, uh, uh, I think everybody played Mario games and stuff like that. Oh, so yeah. those were probably the first uh, first couple of games. That I felt Who's like your it. driver in Mario Kart? Uh, I think it was Toad. I think Toad. Yeah! Oh, perfect! <laughs> Fastest guy in the NFL, he was Toad. Yeah. Um, perfect. Well, Toad, he's, he's undersized. Yeah, he's under, so got game. So there was a deal with Road Rash oh, where no. you literally could just kick the, You could kick the motorcycle guys <laughs> next to you. Boot them off, boot the off their things. So yeah, he knows. Nate knows. Kyler, we got to talk some football here. As excited I am yeah, about no, no. the video games, but two days away from, from the draft, dude. There's been a, a lot of buzz about you guys. Maybe taking a wide receiver. I said in the last segment, maybe a running back. Do you have a voice in that organization where you can go to Cliff and Steve Kahn and be like, guys, hey, guys, forget about defense. We did defense last year with Isaiah Simmons. Get me another weapon. Can you do that at this point in your career? I think if you talk to Steve, it'd be the other way around. <laughs> I, I mean, playing quarterback, I just know how, uh, how crucial uh, defense is and getting stops like that. But as far as your question goes, um, I do believe, I do believe, I think I have an influence in it. 
Um, I, I don't know why I wouldn't. You know, I think, if, you know, if you got a guy, a quarterback, and you trust him and you, you know, you want to be the face of the franchise for, you know, a lot of years, I think uh, he should have influence just because, I mean, everything, you know, is technically built around the quarterback. So um, I think I have that relationship with uh, Steve and, and, and Cliff. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what we do on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Now, Kyler, you guys were so close to making a trip to the playoffs last year, but the season didn't end the way you wanted to. I was going to ask you about injuries, and I know you answered things the right way. You, you, you probably won't make an excuse, and you won't blame it on injuries, so I'm not even going to ask that question. I just want to know, when you guys step on the field this season, is this Super Bowl a bust, or is it one of those things where, hey, we're just here to take one game at a time, and the NFC West is loaded? Or are you stepping in saying, you know what? I know how to dominate the quarterback position. I've been unstoppable mm. at times in the league, and we got some dogs on offense and defense. We're trying to get to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, if you're not playing for the Super Bowl, I think you're, then, then what, what are we playing for? That's my mindset. Um, mm. You know, I think we added some crucial pieces. Um, and, and yeah, I, I, every time I touch the field, man, I'm trying to be the best. I'm trying to win. Uh, and ultimately, the end goal is win the Super Bowl. So, I mean, I, I don't know what we're talking about. If we're not trying to win the Super Bowl, I don't, I don't even want to on my team. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. We do like that. Nate, I've got one for you. You and a couple uh, other of your friends of FaZe Clan are going to be on the NFL Draftathon with me on Thursday night. So many celebrities and athletes. It's all for a great cause, benefiting the league's COVID recovery efforts. What made FaZe Clan want to be a part of that? And if I could get you in that Zoom chat with the celebrity of your choice or the athlete of your choice outside of Kyler Murray, who would you want in there with you? Oh, wow. That's a tough one. Uh, but what made mm -hmm. us get into it is basically we, we've done things with uh, Cover Relief before. We've done COD series of tournaments that raised a lot of money. I personally have been able to work with Verizon with the Pay It Forward campaign. Why? And that was a lot of fun helping uh, small businesses. Uh, I just, and now, especially with mental health being a big focus, that's a big focus of mine. I think it's one of the most underrated under talked about things in our lives. And I'm a huge supporter of that. Plus in gaming, it can be a little toxic sometimes and people get down. So it's, it's a big part there. And so, yeah, we're just pretty excited to be there. Uh, what? Of course, man. And we're excited to have you. You guys are absolute legends. Um, and you guys are doing it big. For those that don't know, gaming is big business. You guys are celebs in your own right. Kyler, we appreciate you, man. We love you on the show. Nate, it was nice to meet you. I can't wait to go home and tell my boys that I was kicking it with another <laughs> Nate that's more famous than me. You guys take care, man. Good luck this season, too, Kyler. Appreciate y'all. Take care, guys.